Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to talk about using the database version two connector when connecting to Oracle and attempting to send dates with a timestamp component specifically. Um, what I have found is that uh, it's, there's no problem when sending dates over, but as soon as there's a timestamp component, a, a time portion of it, it begins, um, I found that I was having trouble uh, getting it transferred and it began throwing a, a series of errors. You could be getting any number of these aura errors, uh, literal does not, not match format string, a lot of date errors, things like that. Um, even when I had the, uh, the field formatted correctly for the Oracle endpoint, I was getting this. So as soon as timestamps were involved, uh, I had found that I was getting a lot of problems and working through this, I did get this resolved. And the issue that I had found is that the database V2 connector has specific requirements for a date time format. I have this up on the screen here, specifically has to be in this format, it cannot um, handle other formats. Um, and the way to get past this that I found is to use the to date function in your SQL query. So when you're actually inserting into Oracle, uh, this is the query that you're going to send in your operation, your database V2 operation to send to Oracle. And um, you're going to wrap your date value in the to date uh, format. So I have an example here that sends three values. Uh, you can see these values are parameterized the way they usually would be when you send to, uh, to a database uh, endpoint. But you'll notice this first value is my date here, just as an example. And I've wrapped that in the to date function. And it takes the parameter value, that question mark you see there, and it asserts this, uh, this mask over it, this particular format. And then I found that once I did that, it worked fine and it transferred the data uh, into Oracle. Um, the block is not so much Oracle and its format. The block is this specific requirement of the database V2 connector. Um, so one thing to bear in mind is this does mean that you cannot use dynamic insert. You have to use a hard-coded insert statement that you uh, write out like this because there's no way to enforce the to date function on a dynamic insert. You can't make any changes to a dynamic insert. It's just, uh, it is built by the system. So that is really it. That's uh, really boiling down a, a lot of investigation down into one thing. So just keep in mind, if you're using the database V2 connector, connecting to Oracle, you do want to use to date in that SQL query, and that's going to get you through. So thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next video.